Breaking news. As APCC's Nigeria can see through the lies and deceit, they beg Nigerians and all, as, and all aspirants, we are ready to correct our mistakes. APC governors begs aspirants and stakeholders. You know, um, if you look at Nigeria very closely, at some points when Good Lucky Billy Jonathan was there and it was as though there was no direction for the sheep, a lot of people began to cry out, it's about time we need change. We need somebody who is truly vicious, he has vision, truly ready, you know, to implement changes that could potentially move the nation forward. It's as though nothing was working. I mean, it was as though nothing was working and everybody was tired, you know, of just merry-go-rounding. And um, I mean, little did we know that we were actually having, a, a, you know, a good time. I mean, this was when Nigerians saw that nothing was happening. The country was just, you know, running itself. And so good luck, Ibele Jonathan, was taken away. Guess what? When Buhari and his cohorts came, they told us, oh, it's about time we get a difference. It's about time. And we were all happy, not knowing it was deceit personified. Here we are today. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Convention. We are ready to correct our mistakes. APC governors begs aspirant stakeholders. The governors on the platform of the All Progressive Congress APC have admitted to the growing discord over their hijack of the party national secretariat ahead of his national convention. Kebi State Governor and Chairman of the Progressive Governors Forum, Abubakar Atiko Badego, made the confession on Monday night while speaking with newsmen at the end of the forum's meeting held at Kebi State Governor's Lodge at Sokoro, Abuja. The meeting, which lasted for over three hours, was stormed accordingly to sources. Governor Badego said the governors would work with other stakeholders to deliver on the transparent national convention that will earn the confidence of aspirants for national office and other stakeholders. He said, I think first, we appreciate that Nigerians are interested in what APC is doing because Nigerians gave us their mandate to electing us into offices and holding to us high esteem. And we are very cautious of all that. All the APC governors have met and um, as we as we always have appreciated the need to work together with the other stakeholders, we have always been humble that we are not the only stakeholders of the party. To work with other stakeholders and to ensure we deliver transparency, honesty, national, executive that will earn the confidence of the party members again. Investigating Investigations revealed that APC Critical Extraordinary Planning Convention Committee, CEC, PC at its meeting holding at the party national secretariat has announced a timetable for zoning congresses and a new timetable for national convention to shave off residents by certain governors seeking for showdown against the extension of the convention date at the meeting fixed for Kebi Governor's Lodge. In the legend against the March 26 date announced by the National Secretariat of APC, CECPC, Senator John James, where Rotimi, Rotimi Akiridulu, Nusom, Nusom, Rotimi Akiridulu, Aero 5, Professor Babagana Zolom, uh, Governor of Ondo State, Kaduna and Borno State, respectively, asked for the position of the forum on the new date and timetable of zoning congresses, national convention. Governor Badigo told journalists that President Mohamed Buhari has finally said, until we finish the meeting with Mr. President, we will rather not commit on any timetable or any logistics being decided. So the governors of APC are now begging people. Okay, they are now trying to beg Nigerians and to beg people on the current predicaments that is currently ongoing. Okay, you see, 
APC is a party that started on a, a, a note of deceit and lies. And so when you see what is happening, it's not um, should not be a surprise because when you start with this on the note of deceit and lies, these are some of the things that follows. Okay, you cannot truly now separate yourself from all the lies, okay, that you have started. When APC came together as a party, they had a single mission statement, and that was all to unseat the People Democratic Party. Aside that, there was no vision to grow the nation. There was no vision to bring the nation out of the current predicament in terms of education, in terms of technology, in terms of, you know, uh, infrastructure, in terms of economy, in terms of job creation, in terms of confidence, the people's confidence being grown back in terms of, you know, even the, our, our, our Naira, okay? What do we do to ensure that the Naira appreciate and not depreciate? Do you know how much it is? One pound one pound to 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 naira 700 plus one pound just one pound 700 plus then you know how much is a dollar 500 plus investigate i don't want to say the the amount i think i might be making mistake because at the end of every business day there is new conclusion as to what the price okay is so that's why i don't want to put a cap to it but the pound one pound one pound is 700 plus one pound then one uh, dollar one just one dollar is 500 plus please investigate and guess what there was time when this naira was so strong that people were coming from england my father said you know it was an english woman that taught them okay she came all the way from England because the night, I mean, just like we are going there now for greener pastures, they came for greener pastures and suddenly, I don't know who brought the idea of devalue, devaluing the Naira and today here we are all breeding down to corruption as well. You know, look at where we are today. For you to change one pound or one dollar, go and investigate and you will wonder where this nation is really headed. You will wonder. So if you want to send a child abroad, you know how much you'll be spending. So where does this put us? Where does this put us in the scheme of things? Where are we? Where are we in the nations of the world? Where are we? Where, where, is, where is the green passport? Where is it? For if you want to travel now, somebody from Malaysia, somebody from, you know, this, um, you know, uh, island countries and small, you know, uh, they will they will pass through. But as a Nigerian, holding a Nigerian passport, have you gone to that immigration area before? You see the way they check you very well? God have mercy. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye for now.